Hello, hello, Dr. John Yakov Guderson here, the singing psychiatrist. Hello, hello. There are places I'll remember all my life, though some have changed. This week we read about the passing, the death of Sarah, Abraham's wife, Sarah. And yet the name of this passage, this chapter of the Bible, is actually called The Life of Sarah. Now, certainly we know there's some people who walk around planet Earth always in the doldrums, lots of negative energy. Sadly, we might say that they are not really alive while they are seemingly alive. And then, of course, there's just the opposite. Those people who live productive and positive lives give off so all sorts of positive energy and they remain alive even after they have passed. Some forever, not for better. Some have gone and some remain. So yes, we read all about Sarah, Sarah's life, even after she passes. We see that her husband Abraham mourns for her, procures a burial spot for her in the Holy Land. We see that Sarah's sons, Isaac and Ishmael, who had had tension before, have a reconciliation. And mostly what we read about this week is her son Isaac. A wife is found for him, Rebecca. They get married and they carry on her legacy, continue her life. They say it's not the number of our days, the counting of our days, but making our days count because we all have a soul, a soul that lives forever. It's not the years of our life, no, it's the life of our years. Some are dead and some are living. In my life, I've loved them all.